Hi, I'm Jamie Fouth. Nice. Fouth, it's German, it's beautiful, I know. I'm from Plaster, New Hampshire. I've lived in Boston and New York City uh, before moving to L.A. in June of 2002. I'd rather spend any free cents I have on traveling. I've been to Europe three times, I'm about to go again. And then I love cities around America. I love San Francisco, I love New York. I'd still like to see New Orleans and Seattle. Other than that, I love to read, I love to cook. I'm getting, becoming a better cook all the time. This might sound corny, but actually I was born wanting to act. I think I was in my first play when I was in second grade. I went to college for journalism thinking I was going to become a music or film critic, but I actually preferred uh, acting. I'd rather create the art than just respond to it. I've been lucky to work with some really interesting people. A few years ago I shot a short film with Dennis Hensley called Rubdown. Uh, through that, I met Glenn Gaylord and got to have a small little part in the film called I Do. I had just recently shot a guest star on the new HBO show called Newsroom, written by Aaron Sorkin, and the fact that I get to say Aaron Sorkin's words is not lost on me. Who the only is here? Uh, you know, Tony, you swore to me that you were done with this kid. I know. No, 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 for months you should visual over it while it could, you know, while it learned how to, like, I don't... E and breathe in and piss on his own. Yeah, right. Maybe the sick at St. Agnes. God, no, Tony, you, you, you obsessed for weeks over, over trying to find the, the, right, the right parents, and you told me that you were done with it. I never thought that they would bring him back. Doesn't that tell you something? Yes, that is a bad penny. Uh, to me, Leo is cold on the outside and burning hot on the inside. Protective, selfish, arrogant, and maybe even sometimes hostile but needs love. I think maybe a sense of no control as a child has led to an intense need to be controlling in his adult life. Well-intentioned, but mostly for himself and maybe one other person, which would be Tony. Tony is, I think, the guy that everybody would want to fall in love with. Tony has just got the best heart. You can't live in a world where you know someone is that amazing and lovable and pure and let them get away. So I can understand wanting to nail it down. Even though it's so essential to who Tony is and why Leo loves him, the one thing Leo would change about Tony is the need to be everything to everyone. And I actually really relate to that. I've dated people in the past who, I don't know, when you fall in love with someone, you need to know and you need to feel like you're number one. There has to be zero question. And with someone like Leo, who's already on shaky ground, someone who's that spread out, saving everyone else, it's, uh, it, it's definitely a thorn in Leo's side.